So we've heard a bit about what Pepple is, but what are the implications and how is it going to affect sort of industry and, and um, public sector going forward? Well, if we look at initially the UK, um, it's mandated in the NHS e-procurement strategy. It's already coming out in tenders uh, where it's a pass or fail question. Wow. Okay, we've already, we already seen that with some, some customers. So basically, if, if, you, if you want to do business with, with the NHS England, you have to have Pepple. Whether you're, initially it's going to be med device, medical device, medicines, and then it's going to be anything that the NHS can purchase. Wow. So it's a commercial requirement. If you don't have it, they'll drop you, yeah. basically, which is what they've stated uh, in their letters. While that's going on, of course, it's also coming into Europe. And, and that is nothing to do with med device, it's, it's anything. Um, so it really doesn't matter where, whether you're in Brexit, out of Brexit, whether, where you are, if you can receive purchase orders from the EU28 and these other countries like Australia, you'll have to have PEPO, otherwise they won't be able to send you the PO. And, and that's the message that we're getting out to the end users now. Okay. So it's quite fundamental and I'd just like to bring you back to, to a point that you made there. I mean, we, we do see obviously a lot of uncertainty at the moment around issues <coughs> like, like Brexit. Yeah. But I, and you said that PEPOL is a European directive, but in or out, it's still going to affect businesses in the UK. Is that is that correct? Absolutely. I mean, if we look at companies like uh, companies like um, Australia, yeah, they're not part of the EU, but they're <coughs> they're implementing PEPOL for all the benefits that mm. PEPOL brings as mm. an open source platform. So if I'm in Harrogate and I'm supplying a, uh, an Italian hospital, it doesn't matter whether I'm in or out of Brexit, Brexit has nothing to do with Pepple. Mm. There's no connective. It's pure commercial receiving POs and sending invoices. So is it also fair to say that the approach should be not to look at Pepple as something that's been mandated and a problem that you as a business face in, in engaging with the public sector, but there's an absolute clear opportunity here from looking at expanding into other markets because of this standardisation. Absolutely, because what you can do is adopt one set of standards, one messaging format, and start to trade around the world in the modern environment, in the cloud, in the environment. And what Siebes and Codit have done is to build an environment, a solution, that enables you to adopt the PEPL messaging standards very quickly, very easily, and we'll take away that business problem for you. Well, that's fantastic. Gentlemen, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you.